just so you know, I can still hear you. On the wind, ancient voices and spirits sail. Every mark on this earth tells a tale. Every day that goes by without ever asking why you believe in your dreams. Close your eyes and believe in magic as I hold your hand. Close your eyes, believe in magic. Close your eyes, believe in magic. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Angel Talk with Sue on International Angels Network. And today is Wednesday, January 30th, 2019. And I am your host, Sue Broom, coming to you live from Southern Arizona. I am so grateful I live in Arizona now because with all the cold that they have been getting back everywhere, (laughs) I am just so grateful I live here. I talked to my brother the other day, and he said, yes, we got another another 10 inches of snow and that was before the cold was coming so I send everyone as much sunshine as can fit and as much as I can send to keep warm and keep safe in all the black the cold blasts now a little bit about me I am an international best-selling author an intuitive healer and a spiritual teacher and I do private sessions and workshops I love to help others connect with their loved ones through my book, Signs from Your Loved Ones. And I also have two courses. One of them is a free course called Memories Shared with Your Loved Ones. And the other one is Channel Writing with Mom. And each of those, each of the the book and the two courses are all different ways that you can connect with your loved ones who have transitioned. Some of the things we explore here on International Angels Network are spiritual entrepreneurship, fairies, angels, astrology, numerology, spirituality, spirit guides, our loved ones, and so much more. If you want to find out more about International Angels Network, you can go out to internationalangelsnetwork.com and find out all about all of the hosts that are out there and as well as some of the things we are offering which I'll be telling you about in just a little bit. Now if you'd like to be a guest on the show you can go to internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash guest and fill out the form and it will be sent to whichever host you have asked for requested and you can be a guest on the show. Now, we are also a live call-in show, and the phone number, and write this down, put it in your phone, have it on speed dial, is 1-516-453-9162, and then you can press number one to get in the queue to ask a question. And for international callers, just be sure and dial the one. I'll read off the number again, because this is the same phone number for every single host on International Angels Network. It is 1-516-453-9162. And if you want to use Skype, you can use Skype from anywhere in the world for free. And once we are on live on blogtalkradio.com forward slash International Angels Network, You can see the Skype icon, and you can just push that button. Now, you can also listen to any of the replays in case you missed one of the shows or you want to re-listen to different parts of it or when you got on to ask a question. You can listen to the replays at iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Chartable, Listen Notes, Overcast, our website, internationalangelsnetwork.com, and 
also blogtalkradio.com forward slash International Angels Network. So you can listen, re-listen, share it with your friends. Also, I want to let you know that today's live broad, live show is brought to you by Audible by Amazon. And you can get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash international angels. And last I heard, there was over 450,000 titles, and there's probably way more than that by now. And this is for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. And again, audibletrial.com forward slash international angels. Also, the sponsor for International Angels Network is Sunday Sturgeon, and she's the founder and CEO of Light Rejuvenation Center. And her latest book, Illuminate Your Joy, it's Warrior Women with Angel Wings, Illuminate Your Joy, is available on Amazon, both in paperback and Kindle. There's 36 fabulous authors, which I am one of them, as well as I, most of the hosts of International Angels Network. So check out Warrior Women with Angel Wings. Illuminate your joy. So tonight's show, I'm going to get right to that. Actually, I'm going to give the phone number one more time, and then I'll get to the, tonight's show. one 516 Four five three nine one six two, and also because we're live on YouTube, yes, live on YouTube. Make sure, and whether you caught us on live or you're catching us on the replay, make sure and go out to YouTube and find International Angels Network, and you know the routine. Click the subscribe button, click that bell. And what that will do is every single time there is a new video out there, you will get notified. And when we go live, you will get notified. So then you won't miss any shows. So tonight's show, though, I want to talk about unplugging with the angels. And, you know, when the angels first gave me this topic, I thought, okay, that sounds kind of strange. And it's like, we're not unplugging from the angels. Make sure that that's very different. We're unplugging with the angels. And it's like, okay, tell me more, guys. Tell me more. And so they started just giving me, you know, the angels are funny sometimes. They'll just give me a little, okay, here's a little bit. It's like, all right, I'll. I'll add that to my notes. It's like, okay, here's a little bit. Okay, I'll add that. Okay, here's a little. And it's like, oh, yeah, this is starting to make sense. (laughs) So they had to kind of, you know, spoon feed me a little bit. But you think about all of the things that are going on in the world today. There is uh, a lot energetically going on. You know, we have the astrology. We have uh, solar flares. I don't know if anybody, any of them have been going off lately, but I know Yesterday was a really kind of strange energy day as far as I'm concerned and what, from what I saw other people saying this morning on Facebook. Um, but there's also a lot of things going on politically. There's a lot of things going on worldwide. Um, right now in the United States with this big polar freeze that's going on. And then in Australia, they have the hottest weather ever. So there's all kinds of things. And you think about that we are aware of more of these things going on than ever before and faster than ever before. And it's like we are just bombarded with all of this information. And even if, you know, if you think about our lives before social media, okay, I know some of you, it's like, oh my gosh, what? Before social media? (laughs) I still remember I was still in corporate and this thing called Facebook came out and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And initially, the only reason I got onto Facebook was because it was a corporate thing and it was going to be good for for what I was doing at the time. And it's like, okay, I'll I'll sign up. 
and I rarely went out there. But think about what life was like before social media. How did you hear about things that were going on in the world? It's like, oh, you, you would get an email or you'd get something in the snail mail or you'd get a magazine or a booklet. But And there was, there was definitely things on the internet, but it was, you really had to search a lot more. And, you know, you had your list of, okay, here's all of the websites that I'm going to go to. But that was, you know, before social media. Now things are so much more instantaneous than they ever were. But so back up even further, look at what it was like before the internet, where there was no email. I remember before there was email, we had we had internal stuff at, at corporate, but you know, nothing like outside of that. So information that we received was disseminated so differently. It was through the news we would get things. It was through, you know, again, mail, all of that, um, through booklets and catalogs. I mean, even thinking about, okay, how did you order things? I mean, right now it's like, click, click, okay, your order's on its way. I remember getting the catalog in the mail. You know, you go through the catalog and mark all the pages of things that you want, and then you'd fill out the form with a pen and you'd mail it in with your check so things are really different right so how quickly do we hear about things now i mean there was was it an earthquake in i think it was in cuba today it, oh no it was a tornado so i heard about it on facebook i didn't see anything on the news so we hear about things so much differently. And how much quicker do we hear about things like earthquakes and tsunamis and fires and the frigid cold and hurricanes, all of that? How quickly do we hear about things? How fast is this information coming at us? And even you think about when there is not only something on Facebook, you know, a picture of some kind, but a lot of times there's little videos and people like you and me because we got our phone and we're taking videos. So the information is coming at us so fast. Even if you're watching the news, a lot of times they have the news going. So whatever they're talking about. And then at the bottom, they have the little ticker tape at the bottom telling you about other stuff that's going on. So if you're not listening to what they're talking about, you got the other stuff going on. It's crazy. All of this stuff is coming at us from so many different directions and so fast. And sometimes we just have to unplug. Now, it's not just unplugging from the news and it's not just unplugging from social media. It's so much more, so much more than that. And as the angels were going through all this stuff, it's like, oh, yeah, this was really making sense. But, <clears throat> excuse me, you keep thinking about so when we keep seeing the information, and so something tragic happens, and there's a lot of people that are empathic, so you're picking up that energy. Sometimes it gets amplified. Um, when things like that, tragedies are going on, how we can even help the situation is by sending them prayers, sending them blessings, asking the angels to come in, instead of, oh, that's so sad. Because when we do, oh, that's so sad, that's actually adding to, to the emotions that are going out and building. And I talked a little bit about this, I think it was not last week's show, the show before that, but one of the things I talked about was unplugging from the universe, uh, from the collective consciousness, from the universe, unplugging from the collective consciousness. And so going back to when we're putting the, oh, that's so sad energy out there, that is adding 
to this collective. And I always think of the collective as this like huge cloud above us. And it's all of the emotions, all of the things that we're giving off, good, bad, and indifferent, is just feeding into it. Now, if it's good, yay. And if it's a lower vibration or heavier, that, yeah, it adds to it. So, you know, the cloud gets a little bit darker. But the angels, so the angels want us to unplug with the angels, okay? So think about this. Now, you all know the universe loves a vacuum. Not the universe loves to vacuum, but the universe loves a vacuum, meaning when something gets released, it wants to fill something back in its place. Okay? So keep that in mind. So with the angels, I'm going to call in the angels first and fill up as much as we can any tiny little spots with divine love, angelic love and support. We want to always fill up with the good stuff. And then as we're releasing and letting go of things, we'll just have the divine love and angelic support to fill in all of those little spaces because the universe loves a vacuum. So we did this a few weeks ago, <clears throat> excuse me, where we called in certain angels. So before we go through all the different unplugging that we're going to do that the angels wanted us to do, let's call in, you know, some of the big guns that I always like to call in is Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Raziel. That's who is coming to mind when I was thinking about this before, and it's like, well, oh, that's really interesting. Now, Raziel works a lot with past lives. So they're definitely, because we're here on the planet Earth at this time, you know there's past lives that we've lived that are bringing us back to this point and helping us learn the lessons that we came here to learn now. So I'm sure that's why Raziel came up. But when you call in the angels, and these, these four are, you know, you can interchange them. You can call in more. You can just call in Michael if you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's really whatever is right, whatever feels right for you on whatever day you're doing this, which I recommend doing it every single day. So you think about, okay, we got Michael, we got Raphael, we got Gabriel, we got Raziel. And you can think of them in the four corners of the room that you're in, or you can think of them as one in front, one behind, one to the left, one to the right. You can think of them on the four corners of you, however you want to do it, however you want them to do it, whatever feels right for you, okay? And if you call in more, great. So we got, got the angels covered. Now, just tune in for a second and feel their love. You can put your hand on your heart if you want, but just feel their energy. Feel their loving support. You can feel divine love pouring in. Okay, so we're in this really good space. All right, now let's get the unplugging going. So first, everybody knows what a plug is. You have an outlet, you want power, you plug in, right? So think of what that looks like when you actually unplug something. And what I want you to imagine is the collective consciousness, this big cloud or this big whatever you want to call it, this energy above us, around us, we're going to unplug from that. We have the support of the angels with us. 
We have divine love. We got it going on. Unplug. This is unplug from the fears. Unplug from the beliefs that add to the fears. Uh, there's there's so much that you know. I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent, but it it adds. It's where the collective gets its fear. If you think about when there is something tragic going on, or even this was okay. This is it. The shutdown, the government shutdown that was going on. You look at the people that were not working, and Every single time there was something on the news, they were talking about the fear that goes into it. People are losing their homes and people don't have enough to eat and people, which is true, but that's what they were focusing on and adding to the fear. That gets into the collective. So there's the fears, there's all the beliefs that keep getting added to that. So unplug, unplug from the collective, okay? Now we have this plug and plug it into the divine. However you see the divine, however you feel the divine, you plug it in. So it's like I'm getting super amped up from the divine and I am not pulling any energy, any thoughts, any fears, any frustrations, I am not plugging into their beliefs and their feelings. This is great for empaths because you empaths, me, empath, you know, we, we get that even, we can feel it even more than other people. So unplug from the collective, Make sure and plug into the divine. Clear our energy. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for continuing to keep our energy clear. Fill with the good stuff. Fill up with divine love. The universe, remember, loves a vacuum. So we're filling up with the good stuff. Okay? Okay. Take a deep breath. We have more to unplug. I take a deep breath in between here. So unplug from the disbelief. This is the disbelief from this isn't right or this isn't true. And I'll give you um, an example. Years ago, this was, boy, this was in the early No, in the late 1990s, I was just starting to get into angels. Um, I was getting into tarot cards was all they had back then. They did not have angel cards. They did not have um, oracle cards that I, you know, was, you know, I had to go to a bookstore back then, (laughs) but it was tarot cards. And at the time I was married to someone who did not believe in any of that. A friend of mine who had just gone through um, just a a year or two, he had quit drinking and he had uh, gotten into a church, so he was now a born-again Christian. And we were talking about, you know, I don't know, angels, past lives, tarot cards, I don't know which of what it was, but he gave me this book. And it was called The Devil's Alphabet. And it was uh, A to Z of all the things that are evil. (laughs) And of course, everything that I was just starting to explore was in this book. And I'm like, okay. And I know just recently, just over the last couple weeks, there has been something similar by someone who was very big into metaphysical and angels and the new age. And um, they have changed their beliefs. And so everything is in their A to Z version. And if you still believe in angels 
and still believe tarot cards are good and angel cards are good and all that, unplug from the disbelief that this isn't right. Plug into your own beliefs. So unplug from what other people are saying and plug in to your own beliefs. And I'm, I am I'm bringing this up and I'm not naming names, but I am bringing it up because it really has, you have be your own guru. Claudia says be your own guru. But the reason I'm bringing it up is because it, it really, um, it, it has a ripple effect. This has just had a huge ripple effect in a lot of the metaphysical community. So, Believe what you believe. You don't have to believe. If you don't believe in somebody else, unplug from them. And this goes for, I'll use me as an example. If I am saying things that don't ring true with you, unplug from those things. If I'm saying things that do ring true to you, you can plug into those. But yes, be your own guru. Feel into that. What does it feel like for you? And unplug from the rest. Okay? And of course, when you unplug, make sure plug into the divine. Plug into your beliefs. Again, clear your energy and fill with divine love. Now, are you seeing a pattern? We're unplugging, we're plugging, we're clearing our energy, and we're making sure that we fill with divine love. Kind of the routine here, okay? Now, something similar but yet a little bit different is, um, and I just touched on it a little bit, but if there's somebody that you are following spiritually and they're saying things either all of a sudden they took a turn and they're saying things that don't ring for you or just different things, you know, just tune in to what feels right for you. Unplug from the beliefs of others. And this gets a little bit deeper in that there's, if you think about some of the beliefs that we have, they're beliefs that we got from when we were a kid. It's like, well, why is this, why is this in my head? It's like, I don't know, maybe because I never really thought about it. Because it's something that was just given to you. So the different beliefs that are coming up, start questioning, all right, is this something that was given to me from my parents, my grandparents, my siblings, from someplace back in my childhood? Does it still believe? This is what I believe about, this is my belief about beliefs, is it's just like cleaning out your closet. You take out things, it's like, when was the last time I wore this? Do I love this? And if I don't, if it doesn't apply to me anymore, I'm getting rid of it. So let these old beliefs that are not yours go. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for clearing the energy. Plug into the divine and fill with divine love. Another thing to unplug from is anything that's not yours. Now, I say this because there are times, and I've had this happen where driving down the road and all of a sudden I just burst into tears and it's like, what the, what the heck just happened? And it's because something happened on the road that I just drove over that really emotionally affected me. But clear from that, because it clearly wasn't my energy, clear, unplug from things like that. Have you ever had a time when you're in a good mood and all of a sudden something, it's almost like a, uh, uh, the pig pen from Schultz, you know, how he had all the, all the dirt, but it's like a cloud comes o- over you. It's like clear, unplug from the energies that aren't yours. Clear that energy out. Fill with divine love and plug into the divine. 
Yes, this is a, this is not a just a one and done kind of thing. This is an everyday thing, and because the energies have been so um, dense lately, <laughs> in some respects, it's multiple times in a day that you may have to. But it's quick. You know, we're going through it step by step by step. But if you have a post-it note and it says, or you can set a, a reminder on your phone, it says, unplug, plug. It's like, oh, yeah, even just unplug. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to unplug from the energies that are not mine. I'm going to unplug from the collective. I am plugging into the divine. I am filling with divine love. I want the good stuff. And, of course, one of the things that, and, and I, I don't do this very often either, but unplug from the news, unplug from social media, for even if you can't do it all day, at least for a couple of hours, or have it so you're only on it for a few hours. Because social media, it's a great way to find out information, but it's also... There's, there's studies that I believe there is, I may be making this up, but I believe there's studies that a lot of depression comes out from people looking at social media and it's like, well, they're going on vacation or they just bought a new house. Well, why can't I have a new house? Why can't I go on vacation and the, have the comparison going on and then people feel bad? So sometimes just unplug from social media if you tend to fall into those categories Stay on it a very short amount of time if you have to go on it. Unplug. And then, and even if you see something, it's like, if if there's something on there that it's like, oh, it's like, wait a minute, I'm going to send them love. I'm going to send them angels. I'm going to send them blessings. I'm going to say a prayer. So you can turn it around that way, unplugging from the negativity of it and plugging into the positive keeping your energy clear and filling with divine. So I'll tell you, it's set your intention every single day to, okay, I am going to unplug from anything that doesn't serve me. I'm going to unplug from the energies that are not for my highest and best good. Yeah. And always remember, plug into the good stuff, okay? So let's take a couple of deep breaths and really kind of let this all kind of sink in. Take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And just let all of that settle and thank the angels for being with you. They're always with us. Thank them for their support. Thank the universe for their support. And make this part of your daily practice. It will make a huge difference in how the flow is. (sighs) All right. Let me read off the phone number again. And then I'm going to be doing calls in just a couple minutes. So, um... Phone number is 1-516-453-9162 and you can press number 1 to get in the queue. And again, phone number is 1-516-453-9162. You can press number 1 to get in the queue. I'll be taking calls in just a couple minutes. All right, something I want to make sure that you all know about um, So, International Angels Network, we got things going on. Some of them you may know about, some of them you might not, but there's a directory. So, this is where if you are a spiritual entrepreneur and you do readings or energy healings, if you're a teacher, mentor, coach, metaphysical online stores for mind, body, spirit, you can get on the internationalangelsnetwork.com directory. So, go check it out. And read up and see if it is something that will fit into what it is that you're looking for. Internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash directory. And you can also, while you're out there on the website, you can also find out about the membership site. 
So that is internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash membership. I also want to make sure everyone knows about the program that Diane Morgan and Susie Parrott have going on. They have monthly classes going on connecting with the angels. And this is uh, Diane and Susie and the angels will provide you with information and different tools about working with the angelic realm. So if you want more information, you can go out to uniteinthelight.com. Also remember, I do have um, a free course right now, Memories Shared with Your Loved Ones. It takes the connection with your loved ones to a new level from the messages and signs. And also channel writing with mom. So if you want to take the connection that you share with your loved one on the other side to the next level. It doesn't have to be your mom, but if you want to take it to the next level where you can actually have a conversation with them, that is the course for you, and that's Channel Writing with Mom. You can find out about those on my website at subram.com. What we have coming up on International Angels Network is Saturday we have Susie Parrott, and she will be doing um, free mini readings, as well as a topic. Uh, Sunday, we have Mystical Connections with Claudia Ibera. Returning guest is Salo Stanley and Angel Wings Energy Art. And then Tuesday, we have Angel Navigation with Diane Morgan. And she's got Teresa Hart, Say Yes to Your Best Life. And I believe... I believe that Teresa Hart is also in Warrior Women with Angel Wings. So, just thought I'd put, <laughs> yeah, Claudia says, yes, she is. <laughs> and then next Wednesday, you have me again, February 6th, Angel Talk with Sue, and I'll be doing a topic, whatever the angels tell me, and uh, taking readings. I also, since uh, there are not any callers, I don't think there's any callers yet, but um, phone number, I'll give it one more time, 1-516-453-9162. I will do a plug for the 52 Weeks of Gratitude Journal. This is another book that I'm a part of. In it, you have 52 weeks, uh, 50, 50 authors. It's got a short story about them. And then there are, this one isn't actually a mandala, but some of them are artwork and most of them have mandalas. And then also a place where you can actually journal. And this is turned in, so there's a Facebook group called 52 Weeks of Gratitude Journal. And then there's also a, um, it's a closed group, and it's on Facebook called 52 Weeks of Gratitude Movement, where the authors are taking their week and they're doing different videos on gratitude and doing different exercises. So um, that's been happening, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Also, oh